Whether or not you vote is public record, but some say a letter sent out this weekend is using that info to shame you into going to the polls. I'd like to know who, right? And, and I'd like to know why. What, what's the purpose and intent? Joe Terry got the letter at his house in Conestoga, Lancaster County. The chart shows that he voted in the last three elections and includes the histories of his wife and eight neighbors. It almost felt like an invasion of privacy. However, it is public record, but a very unique and odd use of public records. The letter says an updated chart will be sent out after the primary, telling friends, neighbors, and other people if you voted or not. But it doesn't say who the letter is from. When they don't identify themselves, then you, you know, start thinking sinister things. Who, who, what are you trying to accomplish? It only says it's from the state voter report. It is not from any state agency or office, though. With more on who or what is behind the letter, we turn to aid on your side consumer reporter Brian Roach. This is not the first time that letters like this have surfaced before an election, but this particular batch of letters has got a lot of voters asking, who is sending them now and why? Whoever is behind the PA State Voter Report letter remains a mystery. Their mailing address is a P.O. box at this Harrisburg Post Office. Their website domain, though, is located in Scottsdale, Arizona. But our emails to that site have gone unanswered. News 8 has learned that similar letters have been sent to voters in four other states, and several other Pennsylvania counties have also received these letters. Voting records in Pennsylvania are public information that can be legally accessed and purchased online. Not who you voted for, but the fact that you went and voted. So it's not illegal to access the information, but it is illegal to publish it online. The Pennsylvania Department of State tells News 8 it's investigating who's behind the letter, but it appears the information in the letters was accessed through the state website for a fee. The Pennsylvania Department of State tells News 8 that it too is trying to find out who is behind these letters. And while many people are upset and asking questions about this kind of voter shaming, according to a study done for Yale University about 10 years ago, it works, usually raising voter turnout by 2 to 5%. I'm Brian Roach on your side, WGAL News 8.